Hi, my name is Paul Rivera. I am a voice actor, a content creator, as well as a uh, video editor for people. Sometimes people just hire me for stuff like that. You may have heard me in uh, the visual novel uh, that you can play on Steam right now, uh, The Divine Speaker. You may have also heard me on a couple other YouTube videos, or maybe you just know me as a person. I don't know. The art has really been just kind of a thing that I've always been interested in since I was a kid. How I got into voice acting, um, I got really interested in it after playing a uh, game called uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. I think I was like maybe a year after that game came out. So I was like maybe six or something. That was when I played that. I used to want to act out like all the cutscenes and codec calls from there. Like I would actually like try to act them out. And I think that's what kind of sparked my interest in becoming an actor. I also watched the anime Berserk, uh, the 1997 one. The English dub to that is my most favorite English dub ever. First saw that when I was 13, and I think that's what truly pushed me into becoming a uh, voice actor. By the time I reached high school, my views kind of changed a little bit. I still had like being a voice actor being uh, my top thing. I uh, studied graphic design for a while. Um, I was trained in everything to use all the programs necessary to do all kinds of graphic design. I was studying that for probably five, six years. Um, I even studied it a bit in college. I, I made the big transition to like want to study theater arts and everything like that. So I studied theater arts in college and I, uh, it's given me opportunities to uh, be on uh, shows, like improv shows and stuff. I've had like a couple of those and they've been amazing. A couple other shows too uh, within the area. Um, I attended a school in Middletown, New York. So that was a fun time. So uh, yeah, I think that's what really got me interested in it. I do also do like artwork, like drawing and stuff like that. Um, but I kind of just constantly kept getting art blocks within that area. So I really only draw once in a while. <laughs> and by once in a while, I mean, it's like a once a fucking couple months thing. Another thing I just kind of can do, I guess, I, I really focus more on the acting part. My inspirations, I would say, is kind of what I already discussed, but I did have some people in mind as well uh, when I got really interested in it. Uh, Matthew Mercer uh, was someone I really looked up to, and I still look up to. He's such a brilliant actor. His performances are just so amazing. So I kind of based my voice off of him a little bit. Like I studied his um, acting style and voice and everything. Um, it was just something I was just able to do. Like before I really took voice acting in the, on a professional level, I uh, used to be involved with like uh, little fan dub projects with people, just little fun stuff. Oftentimes, I was always cast as a character that uh, Matt Mercer would voice, or even Troy Baker, too. Um, it's just because I kind of really, really studied the hell out of their acting style. <laughs> That's why it really seeps in to my stuff a lot. It also really helps that I have a deep voice, too, so that probably helps it, too. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that, I think those are my main inspirations to uh, doing this stuff. I still look up to quite a lot of people, but those two are definitely my big ones. Am I happy? Yeah, I am very happy. Uh, I love the life that I have. I am so grateful for the parents that I have in my life. Just my family in general, my, especially my mother's side of the family. I'm grateful for that. And I'm just grateful in general for just being... Care, um, cared about by people, you know, just a lot of people. I know, like, you know, we were raised uh, to believe that the internet would be a bad place to make friends and stuff because you don't know. And that is true. You don't know. Man, I guess we all took the chance and ignored that message because we sure have been having like a lot of friend groups and just making friends with really cool people. So I'm really happy to, um, that that did happen to my life because that really just, it means so much to me. There's a lot of people I would love to shout out, but uh, we'd be here forever. Um, if you ever wanted to see, I usually am retweeting something from them anyway. So there you go. I'm very, very happy with my life. 
My advice as a content creator is to make content as if you are talking to a friend. Think about talking to multiple people. Just don't treat it as if like, oh my God, nobody's ever going to see this type thing. I mean, you can easily use that mindset as a joke, but realistically, don't don't say things like that, you know? You gotta have like a passion for this and faith in yourself. Um, just know that you really love what you're doing. I really love what I'm doing. Um, I make amazing content and I make amazing content with friends too. And honestly, I, I make this stuff kind of for my friends anyways. It's mostly for them to see. The internet is a wild place and we were told that we should never go on the internet, but we did anyway as kids. The stuff that I've seen, yeah, I probably should not have entered the internet at a very young age. Uh, I think I started when I was like 12. I really regret it a lot. And if people of that age wanted to start, like if my kids wanted to start, I, I can't. I, I just can't introduce them to that. I honestly think the age should be like 16 or 17 when it's okay. For social media, I mean. Obviously, Google is just our best friend no matter what, but yeah. I think it's very important to talk about your feelings about stuff no matter what. But be very mindful of who might be listening. Because as much as we want to treat people like humans in this world, people on the internet can be humans too. I say can be because, yeah, there are some shitty ones. But art, a good artist and a famous artist, I mean, it's still an artist. You're doing good art no matter what. Sometimes the message could be bad. And obviously that would be an exception to good but they still created something, you know, even if it was very distasteful. A fa Normally that is in the case of a famous artist um, a lot. But people also tend to be like, oh, you're not drawing like uh, so-and-so from the past, you know. Um, people will just constantly bring them down like that. Anybody could be an artist, a good artist or a famous artist. They're still an artist in very fucked up ways. It, that's just the honest truth. Please love yourself. Don't feel shame for what you love. If you ever do feel that way, take a break. It's just take a break away from that stuff. Focus on something else. Try to feel better about it. I, it sucks. We all hate it. I hate it. Just try to hang in there. That's all. Focusing on the process rather than the result is something I very much agree with. If you constantly think about the result... You're going to be focused on trying to like finish it faster or you'll be tearing your fucking hair out trying to like pick the correct thing in your head. Focus on the process. You're having fun here. It's something that you love to do. Take it slow. Take it at a pace. You enjoy doing this. Um, don't let anything stop you with that. All choices are trade-offs. How to make the right decision. Think about it. Give yourself a day about that decision. Uh, when you make it, you know, it is what it is. That's life. Make your dreams as chaotic as possible. But it, yeah, it, it is true. You probably should um, be as realistic as possible. Uh, <laughs> you know, like the hard part to get to that dream. Yeah, that, that's something that you got to consider too. But don't stop dreaming. Just, just don't stop dreaming. Uh, keep going forward. You got this. I've been on this earth nearly 26 years. Uh, <laughs> life has been crazy. Moving from like the late 90s to uh, current times, the shift in fucking reality and society. It, I, <laughs> I feel like I'm just in that adulthood phase where I'm just like, fuck life. But I really, really like video games very much. And I think that's what keeps me going with life is playing video games constantly. It honestly is all I ever do. That's what I mostly do in my free time. I And occasionally watch a movie, stuff like that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm obsessed with playing Metal Gear and fucking Silent Hill. And I love the movie The Godfather. <laughs> so, love love this life. I wholeheartedly recommend that you play Castlevania Symphony of the Night and Castlevania Rondo of Blood. Those are my two favorite Castlevanias in the series. That's also where my name comes from, uh, the Belmont part. 
a bodega is a different thing, but the Belmont part is what's important here because I really love Castlevania. Play Metal Gear also. Oh, and, and yeah, Silent Hill. All those. Play those. <laughs> um, as far as like a favorite movie thing too that I would love to recommend is maybe The Godfather for sure. I just mentioned it earlier. Uh, the entire trilogy. Uh, love those movies very, very much. I just love mob- mobster movies. So I'm probably going to recommend any of those for sure. Um, I do like a couple horror movies too. Um, some really, really good ones. Um, I recently watched Smile. I recommend it. Go watch it. It's it's pretty good. As far as a uh, recommended music type thing, well, I'm kind of all over the place with music. I'm very much crazy with metalcore, with like a couple of like rap artists of the past too. I'm just gonna recommend a band that I have been listening to lately. Listen to uh, See You Space Cowboy, and uh, listen to Ice Nine Kills. Good bands. I will have a playlist. Uh, I I already have like a public playlist that uh, fans and friends can listen with. So I'll probably just link that with you. It's a, just a Spotify playlist. It has a lot of different genres in there. So have fun. I really don't think there's any difference between a consumer and just enjoying media. Because, well, a consumer is genuinely enjoying media. And that's what's important, right? I don't think it's okay to make fun of people for that either. I don't get it. I don't get it. Just keep doing what you like. Keep doing what you love. It's absolutely okay to be a consumer. Fuck you. I took a trip to Texas a couple of years ago in the summer. You know, but before uh, COVID hit, uh, I think like a year ago. It's really changed my my viewpoint on the world because that's my first time going like a bunch of states away to somewhere else, like in the middle of the fucking country. So it was it was very new to me. I visited uh, Houston, Texas. Um, that's honestly a place I wanted to move to to really pursue uh, acting to begin with. The internet of the future is that it's going to become a necessity. Like it needs to be included in uh, your livelihood for any anything any house that you buy in the future what makes people happy doing what you love never stop doing what you love play a video game read a book uh watch an anime i don't know have fun draw care about you (laughs) um i love the angry video game nerd uh, he is my favorite content creator. I I always laugh at all of his videos. It's so great. So uh, I recommend him, like wholeheartedly. Thanks. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, it's been great. Um, please don't stop believing in yourself. Believe in life. Uh, enjoy it. I I sure have taken. A change of viewpoint in my life, uh, just doing just that. Don't don't worry about you know getting too old, or don't worry about like uh, oh I'm gonna get bored of this person stuff like that. Just keep being with your loved ones, keep being with your friends, and love yourself. Believe in yourself. <laughs>